Hello guys, peace of Christ uh, with everyone. Uh, the, the video I will show you today, actually uh, it's not about uh, a woman showing her legs and she is a Muslim woman. This is not the topic. The topic is, the Quran says that Allah is going to show his leg. And because his leg is extremely sexy, people will not be able even to bow down like their back will be frozen like something will happen to their body they, they will be shocked from the beauty of the sexy legs of Allah so in the following video it's a, a, a we are trying to ask Muslims to find out what Muslims know or knew about their God do, do, do Muslims even know who is Allah I will show you in a very easy way that the Muslims they have no idea who is their God and all what they know he is a god who have sexy legs you know you know the song his sexy lady you know okay. Allah he have sexy legs and he have hands he have eyes he have parts he have parts like a car and he's God now how he look like exactly they don't know all what they know he have parts I, I don't know what like this woman Allah for sure his her, his legs is a lot more beauty according to the Quran now let us see how the Muslims explain that to us and why Allah he have sexy legs according to the Muslims explanation let us go I do not care what the room think English is not my first language I'm not asking I'm asking you what chin mean explain to me honestly I don't know I'm asking you what chin mean mean you're mine I want to hear it from him guys okay I don't know. All I know is that God says He's gonna He's gonna reveal His shin, but I don't know what what that what what that looks like. I don't know what it. But this is mean. That's your God have legs. Is that correct? Right, your mic. One second. When God God also says in the Quran in many other places that He sees things. This doesn't mean that He's got eyes. He also says that uh, God says, Sir, Sir, He will show physical shin. This is what you said. It's a physical thing. It's something physical. Correct? Is it a physical shin or a spiritual one? If it's a spiritual, explain to me. It's a, if it's a physical, explain to me. Your mind. I think you should be fair and try and let me explain myself instead of giving me two seconds, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. I think you should be fair for a moment. Okay? Look, I, I, I don't know what the description of God is. And... And n n neither does anyone, okay? But God has described that us that uh, it is a shin. But we don't know what type of a shin this is, okay? Let me get to my second question. And my second question... No, before we finish the first one, we have to go and finish it. He will show his shin. It's a physical shin or it's a spiritual? I'm not asking you how it's look like. Is it a physical thing? or no and what shin mean until now you did not answer me you keep repeating he will show his shin his shin what shin what do you mean so it's a physical and what shin mean your mind okay I don't have the authority to say what what exactly that is okay can I please move on to my second thing you have no authority to tell me what shin mean you just answer me you just told me he will show his shin what shin mean your mic like I said it's only a description okay and that's all I know when you say to me he will show his shin do you know what does that mean or you don't know 
like are you saying words without saying with, without knowing what they mean even this is, will be very funny watch and mean your mind Shin is a part of God, and that's all I can tell you. Shin in English is part of God. So if we open the English dictionary for you as an English man who speak English, Shin mean part of God? Huh? So are you saying that your God have parts? And Shin is one of those parts why he's a car? Like your God is a Honda? Suzuki? What do you mean this is the part of God? Your God have parts. And he will show one of his parts? Is that a private part? I hope not. Well, if it's not a private part, tell me what Shin means. What your God Allah will show as part from His body, your mind. You know, shins, legs, if you've got. But, but the thing is, we don't know how they are. Okay? He, he's saying a description. Okay? Because no one has seen God, and I think that you should get over it. Okay? It's only a description. Okay? Yes, He does. He's... So your God Allah have a body. And your God Allah have legs, and your God Allah have a shin, and your God Allah have hands, and he have eyes, all what you know, you don't know how they look like. You agree, your mic? It's not the way you think, okay? It's not the way, like when we mention a foot and it's got five, let's say it's got one toe and it's got all the other rest of the past, it doesn't mean that God's got it exactly the same. We don't know what God's foot looks like, okay? It's, it's a Sir, but this is mean your God, Allah have a foot. I'm not asking you how it's look like. I'm not asking you how many fingers there. Your God, Allah have a foot. You agree? Your mic. Look, all I heard about his attributes in the Qur'an, I don't know if I've heard about a foot, but if Allah says that he's got a foot in the Qur'an, then yes, he's got a foot. But I, don't, I, I didn't hear that in the Qur'an. All I've heard is he's got, you know, he, he talks about his attributes, you know, his hands, he talks about he sees things, he hears things. It doesn't mean that he's got ears like ours. I, just because he hears things, it doesn't mean that he's got ears exactly the way our ones are. Okay, and I think you should start to get over it. Okay, so to make things clear, guys, he agreed that his God, Allah, he have a body. He have foot, he have eyes, he have hands, he have fingers, he have everything. But it's not the way we think. He don't like like a human. He don't look like a human. He don't look like anyone. Okay, maybe he's a monster then. Because anyone don't look like a human, he's a monster. If you don't look like an animal, and you don't look like all the humans, and you don't look like the angels, and you don't look like all the birds, it's mean he is a monster. So your God Allah is a monster. Correct, guys? So you believe in God, he is a monster? Your mic? Is God going to describe himself? Help. He has to describe himself to his creatures and the only closest way he can describe himself is with some of the features we have. But God says, I am not like my creation in the Qur'an. He says that clearly, I am not like my creation. And I think God has answered you there. Allah says, I... Sir, he is not like his creation as a look, but he have hands, he have legs. Right, your mic. Which means he is like his creation. As long as he has hands and legs, it means he is like me. If the goat don't look like me, it doesn't mean the goat don't have hands and legs. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? So, if your God Allah don't look like me, he look like a cow? So, this is not the issue. The issue is your God Allah have a body. 
and you have you know have foot have hands have mouse so you are worshiping a God who is not a spirit he is just a body and this is mean that your God Allah cannot be everywhere as long as he have a physical body he cannot be everywhere is that right guys as, uh, as and when we say somebody have a physical body it's mean he have a physical location as long as he have a physical location it's mean he cannot be everywhere and your God Allah is no God no more your mic describes himself with things that we know of okay but I will however pass my mic on to mr. Billy because he's probably more